Hi, I'm Abir from Skill Curb and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Google Data Studio. We're going to cover the steps that you need to follow. First, you need to log in to the Google Data Studio account and then create a report. We'll look at how to connect a data source to visualize your reports through analytics. We'll explore the different ways that you can visualize your data for your reports and dashboards. We'll also look at how you can build, customize, and style your reports. And finally, we will see how you can share reports and dashboards to other users. So let's get started. So first, you need to log on to datastudio.google.com. And here we'll see that you are presented with some templates on the top. Let's click on create. We can see that there are options to create a report, a data source, and an explorer. So let's click on report. Now the first thing that we need to do is to add the data source to our report. To do this, we need to use connectors. This is simply the way to get our data into our report. We can see that all of the Google connectors are listed here at the bottom. But for this lab, I'm going to select Google Analytics. So click on that. We have to select the Google Analytics account and the property and then click on add. We can see that the table is automatically added to our report and we are looking at the report canvas which is where we build our report. But for this lab, I will upload a data set from Kaggle. So click on add data and then file upload. I have already added the data set so I am just going to simply select it and click on add. Now first remove this table from the left bar and hold the country and drop it off at the report canvas. And we can see that the chart has been created. But for now I am going to change the style to table. Now our dimension is country and I want my metric to be confirmed cases. So I am going to click on that and select confirmed. Let's add another metric. That may be number of deaths. Now in the table, we can see the data. Now let's customize how metrics are represented. To do this, we need to make sure that our chart is selected and we need to click on the style tab and you'll find range of options for customizing your charts. For this example, I want to customize the way the metrics are displayed. So I'm going to scroll down and look for the column 1 in the metrics domain. And then I'm going to select number and click on bar. We can see our charts updates to show a visual comparison for metrics. Now select show number. We can see our table with our bar charts and with the numbers as well. This shows a clear picture and a good visualization of the table. Now let's copy this table in the report, but this time our metrics is going to be recovered along with vaccinated. And for vaccinated column, we're going to change the style to bar as well. We can see that there are different colors of bar chart so that we can differentiate between them. These colors can be set according to you as well. Further, let's move on and create a chart. Click on add a chart and select geo chart from here. Here we can see that the country with respect to the number of deaths. If we can hover over the map, we can see the name of the country as well as the number of deaths too. Let's go on and add another chart. Click on add a chart and select a line chart. Here we can see the line chart of a country with respect to the people recovered. We can change the metric according to us as well as add another. In this chart, let's add vaccinated metric and the number of deaths and see how our graph changes. Here you can see another line has been added of vaccinated people. The graph is also labeled so you can understand easily. Let's take a look at the default theme available in Google Data Studio. These allow you to quickly change the style 
of your report or dashboard. To change the theme, just click on the canvas so you don't have any of the charts selected and then click on themes and layouts. We can see the default themes that are available. This is a quick way to adjust the overall style of your report. After selecting a theme, let's click on view in order to see how our dashboard looks like. You can easily share this report to anyone by clicking on share. You can see the multiple options. We can invite people, email them, get a link or even download it. You can edit the report and name it as COVID-19. That's all for today. We have created a dashboard to understand the trends of COVID-19 cases of the number of people died, recovered and vaccinated. Thank you.